All right. Yashar, I can't pronounce your name. River on. What do you do when the man that you're with tells you that he loves you and that you're an amazing woman, but he doesn't know if he's in love with you? And how do you fix that in there if there's fixing? So he um you know, this is an interesting thing because I believe most human beings operate, particularly men, they operate from the desire of connection, the desire for companionship, connection, and sex. But if a man isn't ready to actually take care of someone, then he doesn't have the capacity to fall in love with someone. I'm going to repeat that. If if you're blocked from actually wanting to take care of someone in your life, then it's going to take that's going to create a block into loving someone. At least that's my perception anyway, or one of my perceptions anyways, around this. So what's most likely happen is he's not in a place that he genuinely wants partnership. He certainly wants your vagina at his beck and call. He wants you to spend time with him in his beck and call, but he's most likely not ready for partnership. And it's because folks, you're not doing a better job of vetting him for emotional maturity and finding out what does he really like or what does he really want. And again, just a reminder, check out the link to a free discovery call with me in this area. Here's the thing, if you're not familiar with the book by Malcolm Gladwell, it's called Talking to Strangers. Folks, as I said in the beginning of this uh, broadcast, these days we're meeting total strangers and it requires going underneath the surface to actually get to know someone at a deeper level. In fact, let me pull up a meme I posted on my Instagram just a little while ago. You know, here's another iceberg uh, picture, okay? But above the iceberg is, you know, our language, fine arts, folklore, dress, holidays, food. It's, uh, that's the easy to see, okay? What's below the iceberg is difficult to see. Uh, beliefs and assumptions self-concept, relationship to authority, family values and family roles, core values, biases, manners, body language, uh, interpretations, concept of cleanliness, as an example, beauty ideals, gender roles, family roles, concept of justice, um, notions of modesty, pride, competitiveness, expectations, just to name a few. This is all belief below the surface. And it's one of the reasons why many of you are struggling because you're not actually getting to know another human being on a friendship level. And this is why um, I want to recommend a book that I haven't talked about much, but this is a really good book um, by uh, Dale Carnegie. This is a gazillion years old. This is a hundred, this man must be 2000 years old now, but the book is called How to Win friends and influence people. And again, another opportunity. It's not about what you can get, but it's about operating from a place of curiosity, from a place of wanting to understand. But again, as I said earlier, most people are operating from what they can get instead of what they can give. And this is why there's so much relationship frustration out there. Is this sinking in? Because I'd like to think, folks, I'm offering a perspective that goes below the bullshit surface level way most people are dating today and most people are in relationship today. You know, I want to share something with you all. I frequently talk about the book um, Eight Dates by Doctors John and Julie Gottman. If you know my rhetoric, and I'm so it's so funny when I get emails now from women who say, Jonathan, before the penis goes inside the vagina, you should order two copies of this book. And I got to tell you, I have women writing me now telling me that they've ordered two copies of this book for someone they brand new dated and they're reading it together and it's actually bringing them closer together. It's actually bringing two people closer together. You're just giving a, you just help guiding the guy along the way. Here's the thing. Emotionally immature men, they're going to say, oh my God, can't we just live in the moment? Can't we just be present? Can't we just live in the moment? Can't we be present? Can't we live in the moment? Can't we live in the moment? I'm like, if you want my fucking vagina, dude, then this is what you've got to do. And if you're not willing to do it, it tells me you're not serious about a relationship. And I know a lot of men will reject this because men, look at, you want to eliminate that 
that 80% of guys that are probably going to waste your time. Let's cut to the quick, because we don't have time to fuck around as we get into our 40s, 50s, and 60s. Look, the days ahead of us are going to be shorter than the days behind us. So don't fuck around. Ask better questions. Be radically honest. And I know this goes against all of my contemporaries, all of my any contemporary of mine watching this go, this guy's full of shit. He all he does is pander to women. I'm like, folks, you know what? What's the definition of sanity? Doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results. I'm offering a different way of doing something. And my hope is it's making a difference. And let me tell you, those women who write me after this are finding themselves great guys in their life because they're introducing something that builds intimacy together and not the bullshit. How's your day going? Are you having a good day? I hope you have a good day. Let's pray that you have a good day. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I ob observed. Anyways, thank you so much for that question. Uh, I went off on a tangent. So thanks so much. All right, let's scroll. Let's go swim in. Uh, Marguerite says you're hilarious. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. 